hello, 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 everyone to the next episodic adventures of our time. That would be day three, but again, I start, well, for anyone who doesn't know, I did start this in the afternoon. And right now we're just slowly pushing to the left. Rio Grande, as some other people have said, was it Rio Grande? Rio Grande and the California people want peace between us. We're not going to give them peace, of course. Do I go attack next? Okay. Keep going west. Best I can do. I will say, though, this guy did come in and try to help me with this guy, you know, so that I had it covered. Grant is only Omaha with artillery support, so thank you. Because, hey, he didn't take territory. He asked if I needed help. He did everything I want from an ally to do. So, yay. So I'm going to wrap around, take these areas, and then push on to Monomen later. Now, these production changes, though, have been... It's taking some adjusting to get to, admittedly. Also, what's this? What's in the newspaper? Your next Texas. So Florida said. Okay. Nice. So, um... Our companions... Quebec... And Freemasons, we all have like a little defense, well we don't say a defensive pack, but we're all chilling, so to speak. And we don't really see the point in fighting each other immediately, now later down the line, of course there's going to be war between us. So right now, we're just going to chill out, work together, and at the end of the match, probably attack each other. And I completely, in my personal opinion, Mine. I forgot South America was even on this map. But yeah, my plan is to take out this guy and then hit up this Dutch America. Hopefully, if things go right. Right now, I'm just trying to get the uh, hang of this food production versus offset things. I'm also planning to go for some heavy mechs, which have been changed severely with. The production changes because I remember it used to take I think up to a day to make one. So that's a, f a minute and twelve second production time. That's insane, still in my opinion. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna rant a little bit. The commandos, they decided because they were an ultra unit behemoth, whatever, that they needed a secret lap to be built. They did that I'm assuming because you can make them fast and all that. I forgot what the exact reasoning was. But they did that. And then a month later, they made it faster to make every building. And they made the commander take six to seven days to make. And I'm not saying much, but if you're in our choir, or you have a secret lab, and then a month later, increase how it takes to make them, maybe you shouldn't require a building for them first. Maybe afterwards, if they're still being made too fast. But then again, a secret lab can be popped out in a day and 13 hours, you know? Which, for commandos, since they take six, seven days to be made, you could be looking at up to two weeks, honestly, before you get your first one, if you're not using gold. Anyway, that's enough of that. Heavy factory. I'm going to keep upgrading this, because I can make heavy mechs in 30 minutes from now. Wow. That means anyone can make heavy mechs within the first hour of a match. Insane. Insane. I'll say it's a little bit of a bandwagon I kind of missed. But, hey, once we get that sub, though, we'll be able to make without food. That in and of itself is very important. Now, sadly, you may have noticed that some of the last updates on the right side, we can now see ads. Oh, my. Now, I mean, see it I mean you can't put them down for long. They removed that feature, which they've... I don't think they mentioned on the patch notes. It is what it is, though. Well, let's keep pushing to the left with the motorized. Where's my scout mech at? I think it's part of this group, right? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna slide this over to the right. Cha cha real smooth. And how come the, the Sioux Falls? Because I think before I call it Sweeks. Well, it's just Sioux. Let's see. So, we lo oh, we lost something here from the Media Mech Brigade. Yeah. Now you think explosive ordnance would be effective against armor, but I forgot that that's like later on down the line. 
so I admittedly did a goof and all that. And um, I did say to some of y'all out there, if we do, actually just some upcoming news and drill, if we do win this match, then I will try Owl Supremacy and do a series on it. Now, I don't know if I have anything positive to say about it, but just want to say heads up, might be a potential Supremacy series later. Oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there's not much to talk about except we're just taking out the sky. Anyway guys, I hope you have a good one. Well, that very short video today. Hope you have a good one. As I said, I stay in nice life, yada yada. Until then, buy daily uploads. Now, I didn't say this in the first video, so you're probably going to see this on Sunday, but this was started recording. Today is Wednesday. Monday is when the recording started, so almost a week ago. So, if anyone in here is looking to gain some information on Unistrat, it's most likely going to be outdated by at least, I think, what, six days? Five to six days. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I do hope you have a good one. And as always, peace.